Gaming on a Mac, hey? Well, let's be honest, there are some good and bad aspects to this. There must be a better life than this. But it doesn't always have to be a downer. There are many programs out there that can actually make gaming on a Mac much more enjoyable. So today, I want to share with you 10 awesome free programs every Mac gamer needs. Just to notice, all the programs mentioned are in the description. Number 10 is SMC Fan Control. When you play games on a Mac, especially a MacBook, your fans can sometimes become extremely loud and hot. This is very annoying and can ruin your gaming experience. SMC Fan Control lets you set the minimum speed of your built-in fans to make your computer run cooler. Please understand that fans are there to prevent the heat from damaging important components in your Mac. So use extreme caution. Don't overuse this feature. Use it when your Mac's fan is too loud or too hot. Number nine is F-Lux. Some of you guys love to game long into the night, but let's agree that it can strain your eyes. Now, yes, Apple has implemented their own night shift feature. However, it isn't perfect for us gamers. This is why F-Lux is amazing for us. This program makes the color of your Mac's display adapt to the time of the day, i.e. warm at night and colder during the day. It can automatically be set to your environment or you can tell it what kind of lighting you have. A lot of freedom is here. Number eight, we have Memory Clean 2. If you have problems with a slow Mac, Memory Clean 2 can help with this issue. It isn't going to solve all your problems, but it is still useful. <laughs> this app optimizes your Mac by purging the computer's inactive memory. It can make it react smoother and faster. It works best when you have just closed an intensive app or game. Just a disclaimer, older Macs may slow down until the cleaning process is complete. Number seven is Discord. Playing Mac games with friends is a great experience, although sometimes it can be difficult talking on Skype or having to pay for a TeamSpeak service. If you want to avoid this, Discord is an amazing all-in-one voice and text chat for gamers. I've actually set up an Apple gaming community on Discord. This is a place where you can talk with fellow Mac and iOS gamers, catch up on the latest releases, and ask questions if you need help. If you want to be a part of this, follow the link in the description. Number six, we have OBS Studio. Whether you want to live stream or simply record your games, this can be a difficult process on Mac. There are not many good free screen recorders out there. The best I could find is OBS Studio. This is a good program to start off with if you are wanting to record your gameplay. The captured video quality is okay, but you'll need to download a separate audio program to capture the audio. If you want to use this program, I've included another YouTuber's tutorial on how to set it up and record your max audio. Number five is Disk Inventory X. I've been using this app weekly for years now. I love it. It is so useful to free up disk space on your computer, ultimately leading to a snappier Mac, which is great when you're playing games. This is a disk usage utility that shows the sizes of files and folders in a very graphic way. It is simple, but very effective. Number four, we have Light Shot Screenshot. Sometimes when you're gaming on a Mac, you want to take a screenshot to remember a moment or share it with others. Now, yes, I know Macs have an inbuilt screenshot feature, but it doesn't work with every game. This program allows you to take a screenshot at any time. However, one downfall is the game doesn't pause in the background during this process. It's got an intuitive interface. You can edit your screenshots and share them on social media. Number three is Carabiner. One big problem with gaming on a Mac is the keyboard. 
It just isn't designed with gaming in mind. If you've come from a Windows PC to a Mac, you might just be laughing at us. <laughs> but all this can be fixed with Carabiner, a powerful and stable keyboard customizer. You can now fix certain keys that are essential for gaming, such as those pesky function keys. Number two is the Mac Game Store. This application is a gaming platform similar to Steam. Don't worry, I know Steam is a better application for buying games, but I've put this app on the list for its extremely underrated feature. I do not trust him. It can actually tell you if a certain game will run on your machine. That is fantastic. Bear in mind, not every Mac game is on this platform, but it's still a useful feature nonetheless. Number one, we have counters. This is the best frame rate counter for Mac OS, allowing you to display a game's frame rate while you play. It is designed by Mac Gamer HQ, the number one Mac gaming website out there. It is useful to find the best settings for smooth gameplay and figure out whether your Mac can or cannot play a demanding game. Plus, you can record your frame rate and share it online to a benchmark database, showing how different Macs run the same game. It's a very underrated app that can be extremely, extremely helpful. Here are some bonus programs. PS4 Remote Play allows you to stream your PlayStation 4 screen directly to your Mac. WineBotler allows you to open Windows games on Mac OS. It is quite finicky though. OpenEMU is another emulator for playing classic console and arcade games on macOS. Quartz Debug is another frame rate counter for macOS. It's a little complicated to download, so follow the guide in the description. GeForce Now brings PC games to Mac at max settings with high frame rates. It's powered by GeForce GTX GPUs in the cloud, meaning you don't need a powerful Mac to play games. Currently, it's only available in North America, and the free beta for Mac will become a pay-as-you-go model later on. So that's why it's a bonus. I don't know how long it's going to be free for. Those are some free programs to help you with gaming on Mac. What are your favorite Mac programs for gaming? Hopefully this episode has given you some hope and helped you in some way. As always, pressing that like button is a big hand and clicking that notification button is great to be reminded of new episodes. And if you're new, subscribing is a great idea as I post weekly videos about Mac games. Thanks guys.